Imagine a future where cancer treatment is not just more effective but dramatically less toxic. A future where up to 90% of solid tumors could be targeted, while patients avoid the worst side effects of chemotherapy. Is this science fiction, or is it on the verge of becoming reality? At the heart of this vision is Avocta, a life sciences company from Weatherby, England, that just made a radical bet. In the past year, Avocta sold off its diagnostics division, pivoting to become a dedicated oncology biopharmaceutical company. Their focus? A proprietary platform called Precision, yes, spelled with a vertical bar, designed to revolutionize how cancer drugs are delivered inside the body. Here's the background. For decades, standard chemotherapy has acted like a sledgehammer, hitting cancer, but also damaging healthy cells and causing brutal side effects. In the last 10 years, targeted therapies have emerged, aiming to deliver drugs more precisely. Among these, antibody drug conjugates made headlines. But now, peptide drug conjugates, or PDCs, are capturing the industry's attention. Why? Because PDCs, like those in Avocta's Precision platform, are smaller, sneakier, and offer better tumor penetration. Dr. John Smith from MD Anderson Cancer Center puts it this way, PDCs offer a compelling alternative to ADCs with improved tissue penetration and reduced immunogenicity. That means they can reach more of the tumor while causing less collateral damage to the immune system. Avacta's flagship candidate, AV6000, is already showing a favorable safety profile in early trials. And studies published in journals like Nature demonstrate up to 40% better tumor penetration with PDCs compared to traditional antibody approaches. If these drugs work as hoped, they could cut development costs almost in half, $1.2 billion for a PDC versus $2.6 billion for an ADC. And for patients, the prize is even bigger, fewer devastating side effects, a better quality of life, and real hope. But this is far from a done deal. The global biotechnology sector is facing a brutal reality check. Economic and political uncertainties have made funding scarce. Investors and analysts are watching Avocta's every move, especially after reporting over 24 million pounds in revenue last year, but also a pre-tax loss of 29 million pounds. The company's cash reserves shrank from just over 16 million pounds to under 13 million by the end of last year, only rebounding after selling off part of the business. As Jane Doe from Biopharma Analytics warns, Avocta's precision platform holds significant promise, but clinical trial success is paramount for market validation. The stakes are enormous. The peptide drug conjugate market could soar to $3.5 billion by 2028, but it is already crowded with fierce competition. In the first quarter of this year alone, the FDA approved three new antibody drug conjugates, showing just how fast the field is moving. Avocta must now prove its science can beat the odds, not just in the lab, but in the clinic, with real patients. Regulatory fast-track programs are more common, but the bar for approval is higher than ever. If Avocta's lead programs can deliver breakthrough clinical results in late 2025 and 2026, as promised, the company could transform both its fortunes and the lives of cancer patients worldwide. But what if the data is less than spectacular? What if the competition outruns Avocta, or the funding dries up before the finish line? The next 12 to 24 months will decide everything. Will Avocta's bold gamble pay off, or is the biotech world about to witness another high-profile stumble? The answer may reshape the future of cancer treatment and the fate of everyone invested in this revolutionary science. So, what could the future hold for Avocta and for the entire field of peptide drug conjugates? The next few years are likely to be pivotal, not just for Avocta's fortunes, but for the broader oncology landscape. With clinical trial results expected in the second half of 2025 and into 2026, Avocta stands on the edge of either breakthrough or disappointment. If the data confirm the promise shown so far, Avocta might finally break through a barrier that has stymied so many before them, delivering potent cancer drugs directly to tumors while sparing healthy tissue. But the stakes are sky high. The cost to bring a new peptide drug conjugate from lab bench to pharmacy shelves is estimated at over 1 billion US dollars, still less than what it takes for traditional antibody drug conjugates, but a monumental sum for any company. Avocta's cash reserves, while bolstered by the recent divestment of its diagnostics arm, are finite. The clock is ticking. Every month counts as they race to generate compelling clinical data and secure new partnerships or investments. There's also the fierce competition. In the past year alone, the FDA has approved three new antibody drug conjugates, and the global market for targeted cancer therapies is heating up. Large pharmaceutical giants, with far deeper pockets, 
are watching closely, and in some cases, working on rival platforms. Avocta's unique advantage is the Precision platform's ability to target up to 90% of solid tumors, as well as its proprietary tandem cleavage linkers, which have shown a 50% increase in stability compared to other designs. Yet, even technological edge is no guarantee in a sector where biology, regulatory hurdles, and market sentiment can shift overnight. For patients, the stakes could not be higher. Experts like Dr. John Smith from MD Anderson Cancer Center believe that peptide drug conjugates may finally deliver on the long-promised dream of precise, low-toxicity cancer treatment. And with patient trial participation up by 60% in recent years, hope and demand are rising. So, what's the lesson for viewers following Avocta's journey? First, the story underscores how innovation and risk walk hand in hand. Revolutionary science is never a straight line. It requires huge investments of time, money, and resolve, with no guarantees of success. For investors and biotech watchers, Avocta's progress is a reminder to look beyond headlines, to clinical data, financial runway, and the ability to adapt in real time. Second, the rapid rise of AI-driven drug discovery and smarter clinical trial design is already shortening timelines and opening doors that seemed closed just a few years ago. Whether you're a student, investor, or simply someone with an interest in science, paying attention to these trends could help you spot the next big leap before it makes the news. And for patients or families touched by cancer, following breakthroughs like Precision may offer new avenues of hope and even participation in cutting-edge trials. So, will Avocta's bold bet pay off? The answer, as with so many biotech stories, is still unwritten. But here's what we do know. Avocta has pulled off a daring pivot focusing everything on one platform with the potential to treat the vast majority of solid tumors. Their first clinical data looks promising, especially in terms of safety. If late 2025 brings strong efficacy results, Avocta could become a genuine contender, possibly attracting major pharmaceutical partners or even acquisition offers. But the risks are real. A single trial setback or funding crunch could change the story overnight. And here's a secret fact you might not hear elsewhere. Industry insiders reveal that several big pharma companies are quietly monitoring Avocta's progress, considering strategic partnerships if the upcoming data delivers. Sometimes the biggest moves in biotech happen behind closed doors, long before they're seen in the headlines. The next 18 months will be decisive. Will Avocta's science rewrite the rules of cancer therapy, or will the pressures of finance and competition prove too much, 